Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Keefy 75 Games. I am Keefy, and this morning I am back with some really good news. It appears that Walmart plans to sell more PS5s and Xbox Series Xs on Thursday, which is today. So if you're seeing this, I would immediately check their site for availability of the PS5 because they are restocking today. I will try to get this up as quickly as possible so you guys have the most updated info you can get. Alright, so moving right along really quickly, I don't want to waste too much of your time. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. It would be greatly appreciated. And as always, guys, please click the like button. It's probably one of the most important things and helps me the most overall is clicking the like button. Alright, so with all that being said, let's just jump right in. I'm not going to hold you guys hostage. This was 9 Hours Ago by Richard Lawler. And this blog goes on to say, as Microsoft and Sony have explained, supply of the next-gen gaming consoles is expected to be tight for the next several months at least. Those trying to track down a PS5 or an Xbox Series X have faced long odds, with stocks somewhat randomly popping up either directly from the manufacturers or via retailers. If you want to buy a PS5 or an Xbox Series X without waiting for Black Friday or paying high prices from resellers, set a reminder for 3 p.m. ET tomorrow, which is today, November 19th. Walmart said it will restock the PlayStation and Xbox consoles at that time. And the pages indicate you'll also be able to snag the cheaper variants like the PS5 Digital Edition and Xbox Series S as well. So this says 3 p.m. Eastern Time today. So if you guys can formulate that into your time zone, it is 3 p.m. Eastern Time today. Then uh, it goes on, tells you the prices of each individual console. There's also a tweet from Walmart which states, Next Gen Update will have more PS5 and Xbox Series X available online only on Thursday, November 19th at 3 p.m. ET. All right, so it's online only and at 3 p.m. ET. And there are a few other articles I want to get into briefly just so you guys have all the updated info you need. Let's move on to the next. All right, and this one is by Inverse, and it says next-gen PS5 restock, Sony Direct, Best Buy, and more inventory before Black Friday. This is more so for about the overall picture between now and Black Friday, whereas the first part of this video was for today. So this goes on to say the PlayStation 5 is hard to find. Post-launch for anyone who was not able to secure a pre-order well in advance. New PS5 units went live at some retailers on November 12th, but these units were quickly claimed as well. If you're still looking to secure a PS5, some retailers will be adding new stock ahead of the Black Friday rush. There are several useful Twitter accounts to follow that offer updates on restocks on rolling basis. We suggest following them and clicking on the bell icon to receive the push notifications whenever these accounts tweet. Then it shows um, we have PS5 stock alerts at Wario64 and at IGN deals. Each offer updates about restocks so it's definitely worth subscribing for their tweet notifications. But here's a quick rundown of what retailers have planned over the next week. Please consider subscribing to my channel as well as I also update frequently on PS5 info, Xbox X Series X info as much as I possibly can. Also, I do the gaming walkthroughs. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe and smash on the like button. So Sony Direct, one of the most consistent retailers that have added more and more stock at different times is Sony's Direct Store page. So among among all the stores, Sony's direct store page is the one that restocks the most often, so check there frequently. New consoles are made available on the website every couple of days, and all you need is the link to the PlayStation 5 and PS5 Digital Edition store page. After that, you will be put in a queue with a progress bar and an estimated amount of time of how much longer you'll have to wait. After that, you might be able to buy a PS5. However, there's a strong chance that the latest batch of consoles will be sold out by the time you exit the queue. While getting a console this way is one of the safest methods, it requires a lot of waiting and a bit of luck. Some loopholes previously to allow users to skip the queue by hitting the escape button before the browser began the queue, but these have since been seemingly patched out by Sony. So if you were doing that and backing out with the escape button, that glitch no longer works, so don't try it because you will lose your spot. Keep trying your luck on the PlayStation Direct and you should get a PS5 eventually. Then it goes on to walk. 
Walmart and a few other things that it says. Walmart has also been a fairly consistent PS5 retailer and it will have some more systems in stock by the time Black Friday rolls around. And this is also after what I just mentioned in the first video. So according to a PS5 stock alerts, Walmart will add more consoles to its stock at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on November 25th, 2020, which is the day before Thanksgiving in America. When that date and time roll around, make sure you are refreshing the PS5 or PS5 Digital Edition store pages so that you can try to purchase the few that will be available at that time. In previous waves, Walmart made it fairly easy to add a console to your cart, but when you went through the process of finalizing payment and shipping info, you might get pushed into an error screen and have to restart. This could very well happen again, and it doesn't seem like there's any way to avoid the oh dear. Then there's Best Buy. Best Buy has had issues with its website whenever next-gen consoles restocks happen, but that will be one of the storefronts to have more PS5s in stock just before Thanksgiving and Black Friday. At PS5 stock alerts say that the PS5 and PS5 Digital Edition store pages will allow for the purchase of new units on Sunday, November 22nd. Unfortunately, no specific time was shared, but be sure to keep an eye on the PS5 and or the PS5 Digital Editions page to see. Then GameStop. As the most notable gaming retailer, GameStop will obviously get some new PS5 consoles ahead of the holiday rush. At PS5 reports that the GameStop will have new systems on Black Friday. This means new systems will be available online at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on November 22nd, 2020. While these will probably sell out quickly, be sure to keep an eye on the PS5 and PS5 Digital Edition pages on GameStop's website when Black Friday Friday rolls around. Moving along to Amazon, at PS5 stock alerts claims that Amazon likes to do surprise drops, so it's hard to say exactly when they'll go live again. But it's true that since the PS5's launch, stock has seamlessly been added at random times on the website. So check that often as well, guys. So it's worth checking Amazon's PS5 and PS5's digital distant listings infrequently. But there's no telling how long Amazon will take to ship to consoles. It's basically saying that there's no guarantee how long it's going to take for you to get it. It could take a week, it could take two weeks, it could take a month. So when you're buying off Amazon, just know that you're gambling on how long it's going to take for you to receive it. Amazon warned anyone who pre-ordered a console back in September that they may not be able to be delivered on launch day. So particularly with the holiday shopping season fast approaching, the retailer may take much longer to ship their consoles. The PlayStation 5 is out now, and then there's more information here as well. I will We'll leave a link to this and the previous websites in the link below so feel free to utilize that as my discord servers link will also be in the bottom and guys if you want to check out my streamlabs merch store that link will also be in the description below check out that for a whole bunch of items i just added some seasonal items as well so check that out nothing is required but greatly appreciated what is and all right, guys, with all that being said, I am going to end this one here. If you could please kindly click on the like button. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It will be greatly appreciated, and it does help out the channel a lot. So, guys, you enjoy your day. I'll see you in the next one. I'm Keepy75, and peace.